In the region of Peel, household waste is collected weekly on a rotation basis and depending on the type of waste, the collection varies from week to week. On the side of the typical blue and white trucks, there are large labels that advertise the collection system and in this picture, a combination of three bins are shown. Gray bins with blue lids are used for recycling materials such as paper, metal and cardboard. Gray bins with gray lids are for household garbage and finally, the green bins are used for organic kitchen waste such as food, meats and general kitchen scraps. On the typical garbage morning, it is not uncommon to see streets lined with a wall of bins that have been moved to the curb before the morning pickup which can begin as early as 7 a.m. Residents need to ensure that they have the correct bins at the curb each week, as garbage, recycling and yard waste, which is placed in brown paper bags, are collected every other week. Kitchen waste is the only item collected on a weekly basis. There are two methods currently in use for the collection of kitchen waste being put out in the green bins. In the first example, the sanitation engineer is required to manually move the bin from the curb to the truck and position it in such a way that the mechanical arm is able to catch the lip of the bin and flip it over in order to dump the contents into the back of the truck. The second method used to collect green bins is to use a truck with a mechanical sidearm that is able to pick up the bin without human intervention and dump the contents into the top of the truck. Placement was a bit off on this pickup and the bin took a beating. Ouch. As mentioned, Bins with gray lids are used for garbage. And bins with blue lids are used for recycling materials. Some municipalities also allow residents to put out excess recycling materials in see-through blue plastic bags, and these are collected by a second truck with a sanitation engineer working in the back. Larger items for recycling are also manually handled, and in this video, the sanitation engineer can be seen struggling to get the cardboard into the hopper at the back of the truck. The resident at this home should have cut and bundled the cardboard into small piles which would have made the collection process a lot easier. Yard waste including leaves, branches and trimmings are placed in brown paper bags and collected manually. Most municipalities have suggested weight limits on these bags in order to allow the engineer to safely lift the waste into the truck without injuring themselves. Can you imagine doing this for 7 or 8 hours a day? These guys are the best. Oftentimes during major yard cleanups, there can be numerous yard waste bags placed to the curb and this often makes collection more tedious and tiring. In this example, the truck actually backs up to the curb and the engineer can be seen struggling with some of the heavier bags. Fortunately, it had been dry for days, and the bags were intact for the most part. Bags left out for extended periods can become wet and will tear and let go of the contents when handled. And perhaps the easiest is the industrial waste collection system. Garbage or recycling is placed into large metal bins with lids to keep the critters out. Trucks with front forks make the collection rounds as required to empty the bulk contents right into the top of the truck. No fuss and no mess. Thanks for watching and check back soon for more content. Also feel free to subscribe for automatic notifications and don't forget to leave some comments.